y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's stream. And we are doing some more of our last run of Final Fantasy X-2, where I show you guys how to get the perfect ending as well as get Rin's accusation, okay? So we are starting right now on chapter three. We finished off on chapter two. There was a couple things that we did in chapter one and two for Rin's accusation. There's no events in chapter one and two in regards to getting the perfect ending, other than of course getting 100%, which we already been done did. Okay, here we go. Starting chapter three, let's go. I skip, I Trump not skip. And I mean big time. Fiends are pouring out of the temples. Okay, I think I can skip which now. There. What? All of them. <laughs> every temple okay so to start chapter three we are not going to go into into any of the hot spots we need to go to mihen high road because we do need to do the machina mayhem mission okay we need to do the machina mayhem mission um that's part of accusing rin you have to do this successfully which means you defeat at least seven machina okay so we're going to do that mission first do with the temples or the <clears throat> Seems some mocky. Let's mangle those mo We're gonna get the reward. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, sounds like it's mission time. Yes, it's mission time. So we do have to do this successfully. And we can dance to the music while we do it. One down. I saved you, ladies. I remember talking to you many times when we were doing the um, PR mission and the romance mission. Back in the first and second playthroughs. That was cuckoo crazy. That was so long. I'm so glad we aren't doing that anymore. <clears throat> Are you talking to me? No, I didn't see chips and dip. Oh, I would love to have some chips and dip. Apparently there was chips and dip in there too in addition to the deviled eggs. I only ate some deviled eggs. I didn't see chips and dip. No. It must be French onion dip because I saw a big thing of sour cream in the fridge. I bet that's what it is. I bet that's why we had it. All right, four down. We need three more. Ugh. <sighs> 
Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Ooh, it is French onion dip. Oh, I see another Machina. Right up here. Get him, get him, get him. Oh my gosh, I missed. Yeah, come here, got him. I love French onion dip. It's so good. The high pelt. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. <gasps> Thank you! Levi says they're really good to have a day. Piece of cake! I liked them a lot too. <laughs> this is really good French onion dip. It's delicious. He says it's the same as always. I think the deviled eggs are the same as always, but I guess not. Okay, we got seven. Okay, so we're gonna be able to beat this. We just have to kind of finish it up. And it's faster to go ahead and beat up the others, um, the other Machina, than to wait on the Albed to do it. But we got seven, so we're gonna win. We can see a beat up one there off to the side. Oh, my camera's covering it up. But, oh, and then there's one down there. That's like some of them that they've gotten. Should be one right here. There we go. Beat him up. You're not getting away. Confident, huh? One down here too, but maybe they already got it. Oh, okay, we're done. Thank you for all your help. You're Here's welcome. Reward as promised. So what made the Machina go all haywire? None of us can figure it out. Yeah, you do not Pretty want to skip anything in this scene. We found I mean, you can skip text, but you don't want to like skip do a pause skip because you're gonna see Rin. We you see who's over on the left that, over on the, the left right up there out of control and then you want to see him again at the well, end if you find anything that's what we're trying to sure witness we're gonna see Rin like looking all contemplative over to the Ready side to head back in the background there now that wasn't a very feel-good ending now was it people who want happy endings have to write their own oh, if you try to skip me? before you see him it's gonna mess it up too. so we have to see that to be able to uh do the Rin accusation. So you can see sweeping camera over. There he is again. Now we can press A, we can be done. All right, so after we do that, we do have to go back to Mihen High Road because we need to place the special Shinra Com Sphere. So we're gonna go via Mushroom Rock Road, okay? And then we're gonna walk backwards. This way. You have to have this calm sphere for Rin's accusation. 
It does not work without it. There's like required scenes to get it to work that are on this comm sphere. stuff you have to do in chapter 3 for rings activation. Gotta be learning elixir soon. Hmm? Oh yeah, really soon. Okay. I could feel it. Okay, and she's just got SOS critical left. Okay. Sweet. Then we'll put both of those accessories on pain so she can finish up um the psychic really quickly. And then we will finish all the dress spheres. That's exciting. Okay, everything's set properly set up for this chapter for Rin's accusation. There is something that we need to do in chapter three for getting the perfect endings. This is our first thing like that. And that is gonna be in Guado Salam. So you wanna go to Guado Salam and do the scenes there. Now the first several scenes you can skip. I will show you when we get to the ones that we do not want to skip. We're gonna just go ahead in first and uh, we're gonna go into the back living room area. And uh, you can skip this scene with Ormi and Logos. Then we're gonna go upstairs to LeBlanc. <coughs> Talk to her. Okay, this scene you can also skip. Back down to the living room with Ormi and Logos. I feel like you should be able to jump off of that banister, but the game doesn't let you. I guess it's too high. The animation, her feet don't clear or something. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so we're gonna talk to them. You can skip this again. Then we're gonna go into the back. random battles. Mm. I guess it's the other room. It should trigger just when you walk into the room, I thought.
She learned elixir. Okay, she's all done with that. She can go to psychic. And Yuna is almost done with Samurai. Oh my gosh, we might actually do this. We might actually do that. I wasn't planning on it, but it looks like it might actually happen. Okay, there we go. It's this room. Okay, so you can skip this scene. What was he doing there? And we're not going to skip this like scene. It. This is where we stop skipping. What? Because like Machen comes in, and you cannot skip the stuff. It's just with one him. thing after another. So I think you're safe if you don't skip this. If I may, these. you're free to do as you please, but I'd prefer you not mention this to the boss. Why not? Whatever this Vegna gun thing is, it's clearly dangerous. Nothing the likes of we sphere hunters have any business fooling around with. But if the boss knew Nuge <laughs> were involved, well, there'd be no stopping her. If anything were to happen to her. You guys got it rough, don't you? If only she noticed. You inspect the red sphere for the next scene, and we're also not going to skip this one. Is this one from Bethel too? Ooh, been taking naughty pictures again. I didn't shoot this one. I found it. The image is badly deteriorated. Must be old. Ah, the only reason the war is dragging on is because Zanarkin refuses to surrender. You're wrong. <gasps> if you'd stop attacking, there wouldn't be a war. We're not falling for that. Yeah. Someday, your precious weapons will end up destroying you. He's probably referring to the Machina War of a thousand years past. There's Machin. When did you sneak in, old man? You can't expect me to remember everything that happens. <clears throat> I must admit, the likeness is positively uncanny. It can't really be him, can it? I'm afraid not. After all, that sphere was recorded a thousand years ago. Right. Of course. Hmm? Hmm. I'm chewing my chips. <laughs> okay. Now, we have to go talk to Machen again for an additional scene. And again, Would don't you skip. Like to hear more? Please go on. Lady Yuna, a rumor has been going around in Eden. Perhaps you've heard it. They say that High Summoner Yuna was accompanied by a guardian from, of all places, Zanagant. Oh, yes. That young man raised quite a few eyebrows at the Blitzball tournament in Luka. I spoke to him myself on a number of occasions. I could sense that he belonged to an other world. That he should look so much like the man in that sphere cannot be mere coincidence, I should think. There's a connection. There is. I would very much like the chance to ask him and clear this matter up once and for all. But he's gone. Just like the Faith said, our dream will vanish. A dream of the Faith? Is that right? Hmm. Oh my. What is it? Oh. I had something on the tip of my tongue, but then it slipped away. Something very important. Oh. Frustrating. 
Well, I suppose I'll just have to think on it a little more. Until next time, Lady Luna. Mm. We are all connected. There may yet be a way to reunite with those who have gone. What? Watch what you say. Forgive. You don't get her excited. <laughs> Consider it the ramblings <clears throat> of an old man. Okay. So, those are the scenes you need to see. So that's the first thing you have to do to make sure that you get um, the perfect ending once you have 100%. So now we can leave Guado Salam and we can finish chapter three, do all the rest of the required missions. I forgot that it's Trans Day of Visibility. Oh, and if that isn't absolutely on point for me, I don't know what is. <laughs> I didn't know. That's funny that it falls on Easter this year. <clears throat> I didn't even think about that. Well, happy Trans Day of Visibility to all my trans friends. I hope you're visible in exactly the way you want to be. Alright, so we're going to go to Besaid and do the required mission here in Besaid. Mm! Luna's ponytail! Or Lulu's ponytail. The They're coming Still jacked. But it's Girl, I can't believe the game has not reloaded your model. Luckily, no one. Guess your friend. <clears throat> Any fiends they miss. Waka and the rest split up to try. The gull wings are on the job. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Lulu. That's okay. It's all right. People in the village will feel better. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> the way that people who aren't ready to come out what can just be to? Easter egg. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's cute today. Well, we can skip this. That's true. So if you don't want to be visible today, you are an Easter egg. What's up, Becklum? Walkers inside, fighting fiends. <clears throat> we have to go help Waka. His attack reels are not enough. I made rainbow eggs when painting eggs yesterday. Oh! And this morning I had that egg for breakfast. Delicious. And then completely forgot it was trans day of disability. <laughs> Even though you made a literal gay egg. That's funny. Egg painting was um was so fun when I was a kid. That was one of my favorite like little Easter things. Was doing the um the egg dying. We I don't think we ever did um the the real eggs. I don't think we ever hid those around the house, so I think the eggs around the house was always like plastic eggs. And then um, the dyed eggs, we would we would hard boil and eat them as well. What? <clears throat> you okay? But I do remember horror stories of people that hid the dyed the real dyed eggs around their house, and like ones would hey, not get up. found, and then they would stink, <laughs> and then you would find them forever later. All right, sorry, Valifor. An Aeon? We always hit the no. chalky eggs around the house and painted Something's eggs for breakfast. Right. That makes sense. We okay. would hide the Stay plastic back. eggs, it's and then there would be like chocolate or candies or whatever inside the plastic <laughs> eggs. Ah, oh, Yuna's done! Yay! Okay, so she can be the, a thief for the rest of her days. 
my church growing up would have a really big egg hunt thing um, that I remember doing a couple of times. That one was really fun. It would be like masses of kids and like, you know, tons and to tons say, of eggs to for all home. of us, so we could all find some. Um, that one was that one was really super fun. And it was just like so massive. Yeah, just fine. I'll be Talk about a one-track mind. Memories are just beans ever come out of the temple. Uh, I but call me before you do. You got it. Yeah, don't just burn down history. Don't just just don't do that as your first uh, instinct, Waka. not good for anybody because <clears throat> you'll want that later you'll want to remember okay so now since Yuna is uh, is done we can put her on thief and we're gonna give her an iron duke again and a ribbon but yeah she has she has crowns all the way down Except for her special dress sphere, of course. Okay. And let's go to Pain. And we're going to equip her with Keys to Success and the AP Egg. Where are you, AP Egg? There you are. Okay. So that's all that's left is Pain finishing the Psychic one. And then they all will have learned all the dress spheres. All right, we're going to go do the next required mission over in Kilika. Peoples get out my way, I got things to do. Oh yeah, you gotta talk to Donna first. Can't just walk over there, I don't think. <coughs> Right, here we go. I think that leaves one. I'm ready. Uh, I don't need no practice. We're too good for that. We're pro at this, even though I've failed it more runs than I've done it right. But that's okay. We're gonna try to do it right this time. You're not really punished for messing it up. It's just a chest you don't get to get. Open the gate. Did it. Did it right this time. Bushido lore, that's what you get for doing it right. You, what are you doing? But then they catch you anyways uh, from the lookout right. tower. There's a hidden path through the woods. Walk the treetops. Okay, and this is the mission where you gotta go up and walk up to these and check each of them. Here. And there's a third barricade to the left. Queerl. So cute. Love you. <coughs> that wasn't much fun. Look at Eunice Thief outfit. She looks so cute. Her little her little like Blue and white and magenta. Too easy. 
All right, then we walk under this little tree branch here. Yep, trigger Donna the scene. Walk the. Wee. Don't worry, Ifrit, I'm coming to help. You don't have to do this alone, Fluffy. I'm here for you. All this blue fire means he's in pain. We gotta put him out of his misery. Martello! <laughs> Thieves are so OP. The two hits, the quick strike, the they can just stun lock everything. That's why we're doing triple thieves for our final party. to do this one first? I guess so. I thought I could do them in any order. <laughs> pew, pew. Get him, get him, get him.
Man, Payne's um, psychic outfit is so cool. She's like got the long pants, the long jacket, and she's got the futuristic visor the same way that like Riku has. But she's like wearing the boy uniform. He okay. looks like so cool. An aeon? It's Cuddles. Yeah. Sorry, Cuddles. <clears throat> Uni. I know. I'm ready. And she learned two skills, water and gravity eater. Stacking those uh, those accessories was a good idea. Another hole. Fire is red again. Yay! We save the temple. Now we have to save the last one. Mission complete. <coughs> All right, time to go to Jose our last mission of chapter three. Is Gipple gone? Uh, the leaders of all... I have a hunch some... Save the hunches. Translation? Then that's our. Pain don't need no translation because she speaks out bed. And for some reason in this scene, that doesn't click with Yuna. Even though it should because she can't understand exactly what the Elbat are saying, but Pain can. Because Pain even tells her in just a minute. Okay, let's see if we can get lucky when we, with pushing the podiums. Unlock the lightning quickly. Not so lucky. Man, I'm gonna have to push in all these. Oh, this one finally next to last. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right, my little unicorn. It's time. An Aeon? 
merge with Albed Machina. Isn't that what they said? And Yuna doesn't think that's weird. Pain knows that. How can this be? Oh, why would you Aerospark pain? She's the only one without an Iron Duke on. Aerospark the others. Whoa, she learned three at once. Holy crap. Yeah, the... Psychic definitely doesn't take as long as the uh, Samurai. All right, so now we get tons of cutscenes, and we have to whistle four times at the end. Okay, so we can't forget that. But we can skip, okay? We can skip stuff that it lets us skip. So that's okay to do in going for this. So we have to whistle the four times, and that's required for the perfect ending once you have 100%. This oh, is the second thing that I'm showing hole. you guys for this. I wonder what's down there. <clears throat> Go find out. Uh-uh, no way! The hole we found was so deep. It was as though all the secrets in the world might be hidden in its depths. But something told me to stay away. These secrets are not for me to know. Ixion thinks different. Get back! Huh? Ixion says what? you need to know. We can skip that. All right. It Open doesn't let eyes. us skip anything else. But we have to wait now until it's whistle time. Was able to find. Yeah, give her this one too. Huh? Our wills. <gasps> He's kidding. Just make sure Payne gets him, all right? How do you know her? The four of us go way back. Don't worry, Yuna. Don't you go. found this out in other places. Under control. Take care of things topside. All right, here we go. What had happened. Everywhere I looked, I found only questions. Whistle time. But more we can't miss anything. it. Having flashbacks to when I did I'm my 400 angry. viewer playthrough, beat it in a week. One thing after another, and I messed and this up over and over because I didn't understand with. what I was doing. Hey, where am but I know I? now, and I'm better for it. All right, then we walk around. But we can't go anywhere. We're on a little island. Yes, we're on a far plane island. <gasps> 
say it. I'm all alone. I'm all alone. Okay, and here we go. Start pressing the button. Where are you? Wait! There we go. We did it. Four whistles. That's required for perfect ending. Come in, Yuna. Yuna! Yuna, reporting in. Chapter 3 complete. We don't need any of this. Yes. Make a new save data. I feel like her skirt has been messed up in so many of these scenes. All right, so we are starting chapter four. Um, first thing we got to do in chapter four is go up on the deck and talk to Payne. Uni, Uni. And these are all these these things we're gonna do first are all like just required for the story stuff. All right, so after we talk to Payne, we have to do a couple of things with the required calm sphere scenes. So let's check the calm spheres. Yes. All right, so there's four of these. We're gonna watch Besaid first. We don't have to watch the whole thing, we just have to start them so that they've been triggered. Next is Kilika. Kill a for you. Next is Mushroom Rock Road. <sighs> Lady Yuna. Next is Bavel. Alright, and once you watch all those required ones, Buddy will come out of his little area and you can go talk to him over here. Looks like News and Barrel I still haven't come back. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Because next is doing the Mihen Mystery. Okay. So, for the second part of the comm spheres, this is when we can do Mihen Mystery. I'm gonna show you guys everything that you need to do in this to get Rin's accusation to come out in chapter five. So we are gonna go to Meehan High Road and I'm gonna show you all the sequence that we're gonna do. Come on, Rin. Rin, Rin, come out. There he is, okay. Hello, Rin.
It's me. Is something wrong? Lately, a number of strangers. Our hover was destroyed. I've lodged an investigation. Forgive me for asking. It's. I can definitely I help you, Rin. Hear it. I can help what? you because I what know it's you. Do? I have placed a number of modified comms. Should you find anything suspicious? All right. With that, I. Okay, as you guys know from all the other ones that we've done, this is divided into three parts. Um, so we are going to do each part. Okay, so for part one, we want to go to Shinra's Calm Sphere. You're going to see these two talking. Okay, and we're going to call Rin. Hmm. Oh, I had no idea that there was a comm sphere installed here as well. Well then, let us continue our investigation. Okay, and then they run away. Now we're gonna go to the travel agency back. And we're gonna see this scene that we've seen before where the chocobo eater comes around the corner. Come on, chocobo eater, I can see you over there. There you come, there you come. Okay, I saw your little hand. So the chocobo eater is gonna start messing with the console and then we call Rin. Have you found something? Ah, this is a Chocovorus fiend, often seen on the high road. But why would it be here, and with not a Chocobo in sight? Okay, so then we're gonna go to New Road. And there you'll see the people talking and we can call Rin. Allow me to investigate. Hmm, there are marks here indicating that something fell into the ravine. Alright, so then we're going to go to the High Road North entrance. And you're going to see the Chocobo Eater come up and talk to the Prophet. This is one we've also seen before. So as soon as he comes up, we're going to call Rin. Allow me to investigate. That is Prophet, a man who is trying very hard to bring chocobos back to the high road. Well, his tenacity is admirable. I never thought I would see him evangelizing fiends. It seems we are okay, closer that's to the part one. The Perhaps further investigation will yield the clues we need. Okay, so phase one's done. We're going to go to phase two. For phase two, we're going to go to the front of the travel agency. This is another one that we have seen before. And the chocobo eater is going to be chasing a gull. Yep, there he is. We're gonna call Rin. You called? How strange, that fiend never used to feed on the spirit gulls. Could it have expanded its palate? Okay, now we're gonna go to New Road. And the chocobo eater is gonna chase the hover. So as soon as we see the eater, we can call Rin. Allow me to investigate. Is it attacking the hover? No, it's almost as though it were trying to eat it. My, my. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the hover crash site. This is also one we've seen before. Yeah, where the three Machina gather around, and then we're gonna call Rin and he's gonna find the pilot. You called? How awful. The Machina appear to have found a wounded man in the brush. Fortunately, his wounds are not severe. I will take him to safety after I have surveyed the area. It seems we are okay, so that's phase two. Perhaps further investigation will yield the clues we need. All right, on to phase three. We are going to go first to the travel agency front. We are not going to call Rin. We're just switching screens. That's the reason why we're doing this. We're actually going to go back to the hover crash site. And here is where we're going to call Rin.
You called? How could I have missed such a vital clue? There is evidence of trauma on the side of the hover. It looks like something punched it? Okay, very interesting. We're gonna go back to the travel agency front. Again, we're not gonna call Rin. We're not gonna call him. We're just doing this so that we can switch screens. And then we're gonna go back to the hover crash site. You can see why this one is complicated. Phase three is a little complicated. Okay, we're gonna wait a little bit here. Oh! Did it break? Did it break? Okay, very strange. Now we're going to go to New Road. What is Wonder Rin what doing, doing down there? Huh. Very interesting. Okay. Then we're going to call him after Yuna's made that comment. And here he comes running. I am terribly sorry, but I have some business to attend to. Excuse me. Okay. Very strange. Now we're going to go to Shinra's Calm Sphere. We're using it again. And we need to wait at least 10 seconds. Might want to, I might want to do a timer. Okay. We're going to do a little timer for 10 seconds. I've got going on the computer. Because you don't want to call him too soon. Now I know it's been 10 seconds now, so we're going to call him. Allow me to investigate. Not a clue in sight. All right, then we're gonna switch back to the travel agency front. We're doing this just to change screens again. And then we're gonna go back to Shinra's comm sphere. And we're gonna wait 10 seconds. I'm gonna set my little timer. I'm gonna mute it so it doesn't blast y'all's ears out. I can just watch it. Okay, it's been 10 seconds. Let's call Rin. Have you found something? Not a clue in sight. Okay, now we're gonna switch back to travel agency front. We're gonna go back to Shinra's comm sphere. We're gonna wait 10 seconds again before we call Rin. You have to do this a bunch of times. It's like five or six or seven times. It's like ridiculous. Okay, it's been 10 seconds. Let's call him again. You called? Everything seems to be in order. All right, again, back to travel agency front. Back to Shinra's comm sphere. Wait 10 seconds. Okay, let's call Rin. You called? Nothing out of the ordinary here. All right, do it again. All right, wait 10 seconds. Okay, it's been 10 seconds, let's call him. Allow me to investigate. Nothing out of the ordinary here. All right, again. Hopefully I did everything right previously. Because uh, if you don't and you keep calling him, like, it won't ever trigger. All right, wait 10 seconds. All right, let's call him. Where's Rin? He's not coming. Maybe he's mad at us. Okay, so if you've done everything right, then you keep calling him over and over. He eventually will not show up like this. This is where we can stop, okay? We're done. That's all you do. Then you're, you're done, and you're going to get the scene that you want to get in Chapter 5. Okay, so I know that worked, so I'm going to save. Because once you see that, you know it worked. <clears throat> and now, let's finish chapter four. 
going to go to the moon flow and chase Tobli. Huh? Yikes! Sorry. I must have dropped you off at the wrong place. As long as you're there, why not take a little stroll? Don't laugh at me, lady. I didn't do nothing to you. Hey, you. You're of course not. We have word that I'm gonna have to chase him just like you. I have to run everywhere. Huh? Even though he doesn't have any problems talking to me because you're chasing him, he's gonna run from me too. Oh, I need to check on um Payne's abilities. Okay. Got it. She's got teleport and she's got the guard ones still to get. They lose track of him so easily. Ah, that of not. Let's go, Gullwings. Yeah, let's do it. He done running. Just flop. Ball of <laughs> Don't worry, I can keep up. Come back. But we're not really gonna do anything to help you catch him. You'll have to handle that on your own. They give up way too fast chasing this dude. This chapter 4, this sequence right here, chasing Tobli. This is really the, after playing this game so many times, and like really, really getting to know it, this is the only section that I think is a little bit weak. Um, there's a lot of parts of this game if you want to truly experience everything that can be quite tedious, but this is the only thing that you have to do that is a little bit tedious. And I just feel like they could have cut this down. Like you didn't, you didn't have to do like the back and forth, um, quite so much. I feel like they could have, they could have made this about half as long and still made their point. Um, with how this affects, like, Tobley's plot in the game without making you run back and forth quite so much. So I do wish that. I would, I would make a little change there. 
He ran right by you and you just let him go. Gosh, guys. Cops will never catch Tobley. He could do whatever he wants and just run away. He cheats. Using a hover is not fair. Oh, that was a good dodge pain. She was like flippy flippy in the air. <laughs> Crashed into everybody, did you? Did you, Tobley? Yes, he did. You're so reckless, little guy. He says Tobley crossed the moon flow. Of course he did. Follow on sure path, yes? Yes. I don't know, but let's punch him. Let's punch all the trees. <laughs> That'll help. We'll find Tobley that way by punching trees. <laughs> yeah, that backfired. <laughs> it's what you get. You shouldn't punch trees. Trees didn't do nothing to you. hurt. <laughs> Come on, Tobley, we've almost caught you. I can't believe you would stick a shoe puff on someone, Tobley. God. He was so tired, he's just gonna lay there. Give up. But we're not gonna give up. Oh, hey, it's you. Spell Shockers, we fought lots of you. Trying to get the Oversoul. Another one! Do 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 caught up to you finally. And I think we cannot yeah, we cannot skip this scene. Hi, hi, what can I do for <clears throat> Spectacularly spectacular A Unipalooza Yeah A minor detail. Well, the more pe Aha! Then how about the Thunder Plane? Now, simple, simple, leave it to me. Oh, boy. Sure. Nothing, nothing. 
All the hype pillows. Advertising art. Brothers orders. All right, brother. They're all coming back on the ship. Hypello time. We're over the calm land. Now. What are you up to? Oh, thank you. That's okay. I got kind of full anyways. Here? All right. Oh, you can drink the calm spray there, but we don't need to do that. We need to go to the cabin and do rehearsals. Okay, yes, I know. I know how to play the game. You just mesh all the face buttons as fast as possible. Hey, Uni, hurry up You don't even change. have to do them that fast. You just have to mash them all. And then you win. It sounds insane. But you win. Here we go. Smooth sailing. We won. Hot prize. It's almost time. Do you think people? Oh yeah, will we show can't up? skip this either. I remember. You betcha. The thunder planes will be packed. But what are you gonna sing? Len song. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna have to watch that scene. Mm -hmm. Goodbye monetization on this video. See ya. Bye. Wow, Bye. did you write that? Won't have it. It's more like I felt it. I can hear it echoing inside me. Len? I think so. I don't know much about her, but I'm learning more and more. I love this lip gloss. It's um from ColourPop. It's the of her memories Sailor keep Moon. Pouring in. Oh, can you read it's it? It's like it's, it's the Sailor Moon it's pack, like and it's I called Sailor Moon. It's like I can feel what she was feeling. Thus shall Len's scattered thoughts be woven into bittersweet gloss. song. Something like that. It's like that? so pink and sparkly. I love hey, it. Hey, that was poetic. <laughs> we'll be arriving soon. After Buddy drops us off, he and the others will go pick up the spectators. So we won't be able to board for a while. You got it. Alrighty. Once we are done practicing, we can go down onto the Thunder Plains. And there's a little boss there to beat up. Why they choose the Thunder Plains when we know there's lots of fiends there. I don't understand. But, uh, but that's what happened. So we gotta go take care of that. Yes, let's go. Hello, Galwing? Yeah, more... We've got a sticky shit... Don't worry, we'll kill it. We'll send it on. That's what Yuna's good at. Mission time! Yes. Free concert hurt fest time. Oh, no, this way. There we go. Alright, time to... Time to beat up the Zalamander, I think is what it is, or whatever he is. Oh, the first, the only, this is the only time I've seen a Chocobo this playthrough, where there's been so much we haven't done. I just never saw one. I don't think, I don't think I've seen one at all today. First Chocobo of the day. 
We love to bark a No problem. Pain does get all the good lines. She's got some of the best jokes in the whole game. <clears throat> she's so like funny and sarcastic. All right, I come in to help Mr. Hypello. Don't you worry. Oh, one of you. Your amount of defense should be illegal. Oh my god, why do they want to attack Kane when she don't have an Iron Duke on? Okay, now he's gonna die. There we go. Thank you for opening up your vulnerable spot to me. Let's see, where is Pain out on these abilities? Okay, she just needs two more. Get up there. Boop, boop. Salamander, I was right. Thought I remembered that correctly. This way. This way. Read my mind, Yuna, not what I press on the controller. Bye.
Oh, she's only got one more ability to learn. I think it's a kind of expensive one, though. Not super expensive, but like a little bit. Let's see. Um, because it's like her super guard, right? Yeah, excellence. Okay, yeah, 120. A little bit expensive. Okay. We should get it, though. We should still have enough fights left to get it. I hope. Because there's still a lot in Chapter 5 we have to go Where's to at the, the fun end. Where's the fun in that? before we get to the, the final guy. Before we get to Vegna Gun. Oh yeah! We're landing. Can we cram any more people on board? Alright, don't fall out of the sky, guys. Okay, mission complete. All right, so they dropped off the audience, and now what we need to do is we need to speak with Riku. Oh, I'm getting. Oh wait, I have to talk to brother first, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, we brought them. They're all outside, and the tons of. Okay, then we can talk to Riku. Hey, uh, the crowd is. Okay, skip. Uh oh. Oh, we can't skip messy. that. No kidding. The two groups have been bumping heads since they got on the airship. Yeah. Looks like they're itching to start something. I'll pick up the audio. The Yevonites are here too? How am I supposed to enjoy the concert with them stinking up the air? Hey, you youth league dogs will never be worthy of hearing the high summoner sing. If the Praetor were here, he'd never let these maggots walk around spouting their nonsense. That's not true. What I want to know is, where'd Noon <coughs> go? It's his fault that Spear is falling apart. What kind of leader would be- Okay, now we can talk- Oh, not you, brother. Tobley, come here, Tobley. On with the show. Okay. We can skip this. And this is the one we can't skip. Okay. Time to lose my monetization.
this song does yeah, has kind of grown on me after a while. I still think the opening song is better, but it does give me the feels. Like, imagine seeing that and just being like, what the fuck did I just witness? That's some wacky sphere stuff. You know. I'm all right. Okay, I'm we fine. can start skipping scenes again. Okay, so that was the concert. Back on the Celsius, there's a couple things we need to do to round out the chapter. Was a magnificent melody. We can skip this one. We don't need to see it. Okay, and then we talk to Shinra. What have we here? Inconceivable. Inconceivable. Impressive machina. An invention like this could change the world. Whoever came up with this is a genius. He's got good taste. <laughs> Guess I'm a genius too for fixing it. Sure, Kipple, whatever you Anybody say. Anybody home? Kipple! I don't think he can hear us. No response. Hm. Some genius. <gasps> Nugie! If you're done playing, let's go. Chill out. Lost your nerve? Hey, we're talking about Vegnagon. How the heck do you fight that thing? We can't even walk up to it without freaking it out. True. Or making it mad. But I've got a plan. If it doesn't work? Death will be my apology. Whatever, man. When a Death Seeker dies, that's no apology. What about LeBlanc? And transmission wow, and she don't get to what? hear that. Uh. I'd be mad too if I was her. Why did it cut off like that? Uh. Just when he was getting to the juicy bits, not my fault. What a piece of junk! Forget it, I'll go ask him myself. What about the gold wings? I think that we should help out Nuge, but first... Can I skip yet? I can't skip first, any of this. I want to try talking to Shu Yin. I have to tell him how Len felt. I'm sure he'll understand. How? We can't exactly make an appointment. Don't worry. We'll just have to jump into one of those holes. Yeah. Together, this time. Bro! 
Oh. <laughs> brother tried to high five too. He got left out. I'm sorry, brother. Okay. Speed and off into the ether. The end of chapter four. Moving on to the final chapter five. Yep, let's save. All right, start of chapter five, my friends. Um, we definitely have more than an hour of the game left to go and only about 20 minutes of stream. So we're just going to get we some things started on Chapter 5, do just a couple of things um, before we end off here today. So that's a required scene you got to do. And now we're in Chapter 5 proper. And there is one thing I definitely want to show you guys um, today. And that is the conclusion of the Meehan mystery. So as soon as all of these hotspots roll in, we are gonna go to Meehan High Road and watch Rin's accusation. Oh my gosh, so many hotspots for such a minimal amount of the game that I did. Okay, Meehan High Road, let's go. Culprit found, yes. We will not miss the thrilling conclusion. Our proprietor, Rin, is presenting the results of his investigation into the High Road's troubles of late. Would you mind accompanying me to the travel agency? Not at all. All right, Rin, what you got to say? This chocobo was being employed to power a ferry boat, so I purchased him. What did you find out about the Machina incidents? I have deduced that both the hover incident and the malfunctioning Machina drones were accidents. And what caused these accidents? I am trying to clear that matter up. I asked my assistants to inspect our machina some time ago. An inspection? I had heard that it was an experiment to synchronize the machina. We did hear that. Yeah, I heard that too. Yes, while performing maintenance to keep the machina under control, we also experimented with upgrading them. But you still couldn't control them. Mm -hmm. True, but... How about this? The modified machina that went haywire might have been what attacked the hover. What's more, synchronized machina always act in unison. One malfunction could have triggered a similar effect in all the High Road's machina. Something strange happened while we were investigating. Someone cut off our comm sphere's transmission. Who would do that? It broke? No, it was broken. We could see the culprit through a separate comm sphere. Rin, it was you. <gasps> That's when I realized you never intended to catch the culprit. When I think about it, I've seen you on the high road a number of times now. Once before the Machina started acting strange, and then again after the incident was over. But before I could talk to you, you vanished, as if you didn't want to be seen. When the hover was destroyed, you knew the upgraded machina were behind it. But then, when you tried to investigate, they all rebelled at once. So, you went around dismantling the rogue machina. Yes, while we were busy fighting them. Then, you slipped away, just as everything was settling down. I am right. Aren't I? You are suggesting that my decision to upgrade the Machina resulted in a number of casualties, and that I tried to cover it up. You put the investigation in our hands because we were amateurs. You hoped we would watch the case. And then I kept calling you, even though I didn't have any leads. You would have objected to the meaningless interruptions if you really wanted to solve the case. I see. It appears I have underestimated you, Yuna. Why, Rin? 
If word got out that Machina pose a danger, people would fear them and stop using them. So Yevon's not alone in sweeping things under the rug. Mm-hmm. I firmly believe that Machina are an indispensable part of Spira's development. Even if there is another incident, I intend to conceal the evidence. Oh, that's shitty. Rin! I really think people will follow you that way. I am not alone in my thinking. We are researching ways to extract the vast energy that sleeps in Spira and use it to power Machina. You're a jackass. I will take that as a compliment. So he's investigating that with Shinra. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Gosh, hello. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, hang on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, uh, so we just watched Rin's accusation. I was just going welcoming the raiders there for y'all watching the recording later. Um, but yeah, that was Rin's accusation. That is the hardest one to get out of all the accusations for this Meehan mystery. Uh, it was definitely an amusing one. I think my favorite was Callie's. I mean, she's not even really punished. She's kind of rewarded for doing her shenanigans. But that one was crazy. I told you guys, okay? I told you guys in this game, Rin is not good, okay? Rin is a pick me. And he's hyper capitalist, okay? He's not a good person. Like, if you had suspicions of Rin in 10, 10 2 will only make those suspicions worse, okay? Like, he's not evil, but like, if you follow Rin's morals and things that he does, you don't end up in a good place, okay? You don't end up in a good place. But this is the only way to get this key item, Gipple's Sphere right here so we are gonna go um we are gonna go and watch gipple's sphere oh and you can now ride chocobos free of charge if you get rin's accusation here so you can do that in chapter five so if we go over here to uh yeah to shinra then we can watch the sphere okay so if you come down here the sphere we just won is called jackasses it's called jackasses so let's watch it Yes. Just got a transmission. Apparently the Guada were conducting a manhunt nearby. Orders are to locate the Sumner Yuna and kill her guardians. Maybe you ought to lay low for a bit? That advice? No. I just don't want you stirring them up. The temples are after me too. Then I apologize in advance. You're fighting? <laughs> I see. I'm tired of running from Yevon myself. And I have thought about fighting. <sighs> I'd probably look like a jackass if I even suggested it. Only a jackass can change the world. Huh, good call. It's cookie cool belgi vecker feather Yevon. You sick? Big mega V. Jackass. Okay, so that's our reward. We get a scene with Oren. Um, I, you know, you guys know I love Daddy Oren. He is uh, a favorite of mine. Love him so much. Um, so yeah, that's like a nice little special bonus that you get for accusing Rin. You can't see that scene any other way. That's the only way to see it. All right, we are gonna go ahead and save our game here. Yeah, the start of chapter five. Okay, so if you are watching the recorded version of this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I will be finishing this game next week. And when I do, I will be giving my final thoughts on 10.2 as a whole, uh, mostly focusing on the story elements and what it adds to the world of Spira and how it kind of follows on from 10. These are all things that I have been commenting on as we've been doing our 100% playthrough, but I'm gonna kind of like condense them all into one thing at the end of the game so that we have like nice final thoughts. So don't forget, of course, 
to like, comment, subscribe down below, and come join us live on Twitch if you're watching this on YouTube. I would love to have you here. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.